What's something people don't know about wind in aviation? It's more than just a breeze. All right, aviation aces, let's dive in. Question one. What are the headwind and crosswind components of a 20 knot wind at 30 degrees off runway heading? Break out those sine and cosine charts, folks. Question two. How much does a nine knot headwind reduce takeoff distance compared to a nine knot tailwind increase? Think of headwinds as your new best friend. Next up, what's the maximum demonstrated crosswind component and is it a limitation? Spoiler alert, it's a number, not a prison. How do you use a wind component chart to find crosswind limits? Trust me, it's easier than your high school geometry tests. And finally, why are tailwinds more dangerous than headwinds for takeoff performance? Because tailwinds are like the unruly kids of the wind family. Remember, wind component calculations aren't optional. They're the math that keeps you on the runway and out of the trees. Got answers? Drop them in the comments below and let's see who's got the brains to fly high.